Welcome back, Vintage Cards here. And just a quick uh, video with a pickup for the 53 Tops uh, Hall of Fame collection in this case. So this is actually my 17th Hall of Famer, Mr. Ralph Kiner. And um, a lot of you guys probably know uh, all about the great slugger for the Pittsburgh Pirates, Ralph Kiner. Um, just a fantastic uh, hitter back in the post-war era. It's the front. And on the back it mentions Big Ralph tied for the NL home run crowd in 52, making the seventh consecutive year that he's either won or tied for that honor. <laughs> Ralph, who is rated the best chance of breaking Babe Ruth's home run, home run record, has been in pro ball since 41, then he was in the service uh, 43, 44, 45. So if it wasn't for that time in the service and his uh, back issues later in his career, you know, I'm sure he would have hit well over 500 homers. Um, talking about seven straight years leading the league in, uh, in big flies. It's pretty great. So this is a really nice card, and I don't even care about the grade. Um, shout out to those back pages. But I got this um, PSA graded Kiner card for 15 bucks. So that is a 53 tops Hall of Famer. It looks really good. There's like no snow. Um, the color down here is pretty nice. And there's like a little crease down there, and then the back maybe you saw it. The bottom right there's some staining but who cares it's way way out of the way so it looks really nice uh, just a great great painting of mr kiner and my personal memories of kiner are basically all from the 1990s when he was a color man uh, for the new york mets so you mets fans or uh, people who had access to new york tv during that time, uh, and before, of course, I think he was started with them in the 70s, I believe. Let me know if I'm wrong, but he was a long time broadcaster there. And uh, his voice, I just, I just thought he had a, had a really great uh, voice and a really nice demeanor on the air, uh, sort of a, a homely vibe. And it almost didn't even matter <laughs> like what he said. I know some people had, uh, Maybe he didn't care for his style that much, but I thought he was he was fun to listen to. 369 lifetime home runs was a lot considering that he only played for 10 years. In 1962, he became a broadcaster for the Mets. Holy smokes. I did not know that. This was... Um, Again, another TTM. I assume it's authentic, um, but got back, you know, could have been 94, 95, 96 or so. But um, yeah, I think he was signing his mail, or at least that's what I heard, and sent him out another one of these good old uh, all time greats cards. So thanks guys for watching, and um, appreciate you sticking with the channel. Uh, comment, subscribe, do whatever you like, and um, talk to you soon. Thanks, guys.